I love that recording. I read something you said about you know, creating hybrid music, and that, in a sense, defines it, doesn't it? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, it's a crooner singing Van Morrison them. Well, absolutely, and I think that I, I, I was always really sure to tell people that I wasn't born in 1935, you know, so I had this great opportunity to look back at the life's work Yes. of my favorite artists and sort of make a hybrid of music with jazz and pop so yeah. that it was more palatable. And you, you, I mean, it seems so natural to see that. I mean, have you always found it easy to sing? Was it just, it just came naturally to you? Uh, you know, I, think, I think so. I think it felt like it was natural. I think that I have good days and bad days, you know, where some days I'll listen to myself, you know, on an iPod and think, boy, oh boy, that was nice. Or I'll think, boy, oh boy, you know, go back to being a fisherman. <laughs> Too also that, that you learn by stealing as a singer. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Exactly? Still learning. <laughs> well, I uh, I learned by stealing. I basically listened, like I said to you, I was born in '75, so it gave me the chance to listen to Ella Fitzgerald and Sammy and and Mills Brothers and, and even Presley, or, and to take all of these things that I liked about them vocally, you know, to take you know Presley's swagger vibrato and. and mix it together with the way Sinatra sung on his vowels, or the way that Dean Martin dropped his epiglottis and did that kind of thing that he does. Or even Bobby Darren's phrasing to Sarah Vaughn, the mellifluous, you know, sound that she made, and I got to kind of steal it all. Can you demonstrate it? Sinatra on his vowels, uh, I, I, O, U. Does that whole, oh, everybody loves some <laughs> real Presley, his vibrato, is that, that attack. Um, Are you lonesome to me? Do you kiss me? You know what I mean? You feel it. 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 Every artist does that, of course. Absolutely. Mm. I never got the sense of Presley. I mean, I, I understand how important he was. I see that he and Sinatra are the two most significant singers yeah. uh, of the past 50 years or so, but I, can, I, can't, I don't get him at all. I, you know, I was going to actually bring him up because the reason I did bring him up is I saw you at the piano when you were doing your uh, the theme song. Yes. And I noticed as you were, as he was playing it, and when he got to the quick version of it, that your legs started to do this. <laughs> For me, it was cool to see a guy that was versatile, could sing sure. ballads and could sing a rock hard, you know, and, and uh, could I do that. Was amazingly influential. I mean, you know, sure. generations still worship him and still learn from him. Well, when you look back, you know, it's funny, isn't it, that we have Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra as the kind of the iconic, you know, the gigantic figures in Alvarati. Uh, yeah, well, I'd love to be going to meet some of your heroes in, in just a moment. Oh, I can't I mean, wait. I mean, Sinatra was the one that I really wanted on the show, never got anywhere near to. But here's a little compilation. Have a look at this, because there'll be one or two of the, the greats that we talked about from this. This is from way past, way before you were born. Start all over again. What are you doing? 